Testing, testing, testing. Okay, cool. Well, as I said, I am thrilled that you're all here. My name is Wendy. I am uh, one of the organizers. Of Ago when the weather really started to turn bad. One of the other tonight's organizers, Jennifer Kemp, who will be meeting in a couple of minutes, was asked if we were going to cancel the event. And Jennifer, who is sort of the model of Southern civility, in her most gracious way said, well, you know, the people of Baghdad walk through a war zone to get to their freedom today. Perhaps the people of Portland might come out in a snowstorm. It's actually nights like tonight that make me want to live and work in Portland and to live and work at the University of Southern Maine, which is where I'm employed. Because we don't let a little challenge stop us from doing great work around peace and pleasure. And uh, I guess it was in the fall, Yanar Mohammed came to USM and spoke about the work that she's doing with the organization for women's freedom in Iraq and also her organizing of these freedom space events in Baghdad. And we were so inspired that a small group of us, um, two students, Jennifer Kemp and Anna Corson, myself, a USM faculty member, and Gabrielle Domena, a USM staff person, uh, started planning how we could do the same sort of thing in Portland in solidarity with the people of Baghdad. And we immediately put out calls to all of our favorite activists pals who do uh, incredible work in the community of Portland, including Danny Muller of Peace Action Maine, <laughs> Tina Smith of the League of Young Voters, <laughs> and Hashem Hala from the Amistad Arts Collective. one of the activists, artists, musicians, poets that we contacted immediately said yes, they wanted to participate. So we're really grateful to all of them and all of you for coming out tonight. Thank you so much. Now let me introduce to you, as I said, one of the organizers of tonight, Jennifer Kemp, who's going to read a short message from Yanar Mohammed in Baghdad.